For our concert on December 6th, we are starting with the world premiere by Dylan Mattingly, a piece called Invisible Skyline. Dylan Mattingly was born in Oakland, was part of our under construction program, so it's a great joy to welcome him back to the Bay Area. I started playing his music when he was at Berkeley High School. As the years have gone by, it's been great to just watch him blossom as a composer. He's worked with John Adams, he's worked with various composers at Bard, um, but he really has a distinctive style. Invisible Skyline is something of a, a story about stories. For thousands of years we've been telling each other stories in different ways and not just not just the regular story of, you know, I went out and I killed this mammoth and I brought back the meat and I'm ready to eat, but stories that are complex and long and most importantly, stories that are not real. And the idea of fiction is such a sort of beautiful concept to me. Following that, we will welcome one of the greatest pianists of our time, Shai Wozner, playing Ligeti's Piano Concerto, one of the most demanding and technically difficult pieces that Ligeti wrote. Ligeti is one of the most revered and looked up to composers from the point of view of composers today. In some ways, he sort of skipped over the classical and romantic eras, the 18th and 19th century, and his music kind of begins with that of J.S. Bach and goes backwards into medieval and polyphonic and re Renaissance music. This is just sort of showing you how he thinks of the piano. Um, the right hand is doing, is all in the white keys. And then the left hand is all on the black keys. So then you put them together. And no one had approached the piano that way before. And then we end this concert with Schumann's Second Symphony. Well, the thing that I'm always struck by Schumann is this powerful rhythmic energy and powerful energy of sound. The music just has this sort of rugged individual quality to it. And of course there's a direct connection with the piano and we feel that, we hear that in this symphony. I feel that there's this inner journey of the composer from a pessimistic to a very optimistic view of life. So I think this concert will be uh, a beautiful one.